Hey guys, it's Wednesday. So here's the final of the dresser. Um, I just love this. I don't know why, because I would never have this in my house. This is not something I would have in my house, but I love it. There's going to be a mirror that goes here. Now, I want to tell you, the mirror is supposed to go, you know, on the outside. But the mirror is kind of, because it's old, it's got some fogginess to it. So we're actually going to take the backing off. We're going to put the mirror on and then put the backing back on. So the mirror will look like it's this shape. Um, and we're hoping that that's going to help with that fogginess that so some of it will be covered up. But anyway, you have to tell me what you think, considering this was the, this was going to be the throw it in the dumpster um, piece. So look how shiny that is. These are drawers that go with, and this is too. And why does it look like there's not any on that spot right there? Or that's dry. I don't know. Um, but anyway, here's the dresser. This is the first one I'm doing with the poster. And I received the posters. Two of them came from one uh, seller. And two of them came from another. And then my Dirty Dancing poster's not here yet. But when I got the Marilyn and I wanted to do, I'm going to show you, I got this, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, but I ordered this cool retro graffiti looking Marilyn Monroe and I wanted to put her on this blue dresser, but when I got her, it's hard to see, but the poster was rolled and at some point it had gotten kind of mashed. So there are creases in this poster. You can see them here on this one. So same thing on both. So this is the other Marilyn Monroe. And this is the one where her dress is blowing up. So anyway, I have these um, encyclopedias on it. And I had wanted to do one of the Marilyn Monroe's, but um, because of those, I didn't, and they are sending me out new ones, so in the meantime, I am doing another Titanic dresser. I also got the Wizard of Oz, <clears throat> however, I'm, I was really torn and maybe you guys can give me some ideas on what color to do the base of the dresser. I kind of thought about trying to mix up a color at least close to or similar to this. I have this color, this real pale um, blue. I could do that. Then we've got the orange poppies. I don't have orange. Um, oh, yellow brick road. I have a sample of yellow, but I, it's not big enough to do a dresser. But okay, so tell me what you think. Should I go with a yellow dresser or a b baby blue? Um, Honey even thought the green. But I don't know, the green to me has to be like an emerald green and I don't have anything really emerald um, green. So anyway, I have all my, my pieces cut for my drawers for the Titanic dresser. Oh, I just love looking at this. And I love the ladder too. Um, I've been working on these today. And I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not... Um, doing any project videos right now because I'm kind of in a hurry to get things done and it takes a lot more time when I have to do videos is I think I'll do like a video of finished projects um, before I go back to work. So 
yeah, lots of stuff going on in here. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Oh, by the way, this is what's going. I'm going to distress these. And then this is what's going to go on the glass. So, yep, I'm going to go back to the briefing and see you guys later. Holy guacamole. Oh, my God. Is it made to, like, flip over like that? Oh, my God, it's going off-road. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, you got, you got damage there. Come back and I'll show you. Oh yeah, you definitely got some damage. Ah. No. no? No damage. <laughs> oh! Uh, okay, that might have some damage. Or not. How far can you go? I don't know, so I don't want to test it because I'll have to walk after it. <laughs> and then go down. Spa friends, look Hi. at these two guys behind plexiglass. My husband built us a little plexiglass screen, shield, <laughs> something. But you can pay us right here. We've been down here for, I don't know, three or four hours cleaning, organizing, getting ready for you guys to come back. So we have some signs we want you to read. We're still going to need people to sign in. So if you want to bring gloves. And there's hand sanitizer. There is hand sanitizer. But if you want to bring gloves, we are still going to need you to sign in. So plan on that. Please keep your, um, your visits very brief. We're going to take your dogs in and try to get you on your way. So just wanted to show you everything's all clean and ready. We've got our bandanas are stocked. I ordered from Joann's online been cutting bandanas today and our tubs are empty clean but empty so we're ready for you guys so we'll see ya we'll see you soon bye, bye. hi honey hi <laughs> honey wants to show us his shop we haven't done we haven't vlogged that much at all since this whole thing I almost fell earlier. <laughs> I came out to find you. you weren't even out here. I almost fell. Thank goodness the trailer was there. It caught me. I think before we go, if we're going to go to the shop, I'm going to take this. And the cutter. Look at his nice deck. I don't get a nice deck in front of my building. I asked you. You did not? You did not ask me if I wanted a I deck. I going to give you a, cor a, 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 a concrete walkway. I don't want no concrete. I want a wooden bridge. I want it like a little arched bridge with little handrails. And... <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did clean it up. Oh, my God, you guys should have seen the shit show that was going on in here. <laughs> Does that, is that like, did it's you? It's mounted. It's mounted. That's cool. Ooh, we got some corbel action going on here. I love it. Nice. Doesn't it feel good when it's all cleaned up? Oh, absolutely. I just can't let it get behind me again. Except that pile over there looks kind of... Well, once I get the back cut for the, um, the that hutch that we're doing, yeah, um, that'll eliminate probably a good half of this. Which is on the agenda for this week. Yeah. Now that I'm off. And then that'll 
No, help out. You know what else we should do? We should do that faux fireplace thing. In the camper? No. Oh. With that big, where is it? Where's that big? We bought it. You know what I'm talking about? That bit, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I think it's out in the other building. No, it's not. That's my building, and I know it's not over there. It's like a giant one of these. Like a giant one of these. Hmm. You don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think they're in the other building, sweetie. It's not they're in the other there. building. And I saw you had corbels stuck back there. You need to not have corbels stuck back there. Well, I've got to get, I've got to eliminate this. So you have more cleanup to do. Yeah. Okay. I, I just got to a, a point. Well, it looks way, way, way better. So anyway, all right, guys, we're headed to the shop. Look, vintage stuff and things. You should hang that up. No, I'm gonna build a sign for it so I can go to. So it can go to. Malls. Well, it doesn't need to go to Brass Armadillo. No, we'll take it to Old Crow. Old Crows. All right. Things I want to share with you today is that, you know, for a while. Oh my, what is wrong with your face? Look at that. That's from Rizzo constantly licking her face. Okay, so anyway. Um, from time to time, I make a an impulse purchase. I've got a piece in here that I'm just going to sell as is because I don't... Oh, that, that one. Because I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm not feeling it. It's not calling me. It's just been in here forever. So I'm going to get it out. Somebody's coming to pay me 50 bucks for it. I'm making 20 bucks off the deal. And it's getting out of here. I'm outside. I got a whole bunch of stuff lined up. That, um, some of it I painted yesterday. Like this. And I'm going to do some stuff on the end. And yes, it is yellow. I painted that painted that that um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet and i have that that i put those molds on these i put some molds on and i'm just gonna kind of play around with stuff um i got my little table set up i had to elevate it and i'm finally gonna get that thing done i painted dark brown all around the edges and stuff and on the teapot and the teacup so that when I just stress it back you can see that looks like I need a little bit to go over it but I had to open the door to my studio because I opened my door to go in there this morning just to grab something and it was cold in there I haven't I haven't been working out here because it was really expensive to keep the heater going um 24 7 so i just started working in the house but this is going to be a project for this week because um it needs it <laughs> and it's not too too bad i know it looks like a lot of stuff but what i need to do because i've pulled a lot of stuff down out of here is i need to reorganize that so i can move a, some of this stuff up there yeah, I may do that this afternoon. I think he's going to be mowing back here in a little bit. But another thing I have to do, because we did sell that piece of furniture I showed you a minute ago. And I've got to prepare the building. Because um, we have a bunch of furniture in the, the Hujimagoogie, the garage. And we moved it to the garage because we were going to paint it out front. And we decided it'll be easier if we just paint it here. Because then we can just put it right back in the building. Because the, tra the trailer is pretty full. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Did I show you this? I got this bed. And it's got... There's stuff buried back there. But it's got these incredible... 
There's two of each. Two of those and two of those. Four poster bed. Oh my God. Gorgeous. But look at that headboard. And this is going to become something. It's either going to be some kind of beautiful shelving um, situation or it's going to be a bench. This is this one. So this was free. So then this one um, was also free. And this is going to definitely be a bench. This was free. And that's going to be a bench. This, <laughs> it was listed small hutch. It wasn't listed child size hutch. Uh, and the lady wanted 40 bucks for it. I went over there and I opened the door and I was like, oh, it's child size. She's like, yeah, I put small. It's like, um, there's a difference between small hutch and child size. But anyway, I said, well, I can't, I can't pay 40 bucks for that. I said, but if you'll take 20 for it. And she said, yes. And so I'm going to redo it. And hopefully somebody will buy this for a child's room. Ugh, these chairs. These chairs are killing me. Um, but tomorrow we're painting this. So I, I just got to, I mean, it's not bad in here at all. But I do have to reorganize um, so we can get that piece out and paint it tomorrow and just get some stuff done. So I'm rambling. I'll be back later. Go look at the new piece. Oh. I don't think you guys have seen this one. Uh, this one's been in our hoard. Paid way too much for it two years ago. Two twenty-five for that. <laughs> I've learned since then. I've learned. So yeah, I drove out almost to the halfway more than halfway to the airport to get this where's the mirror in the back huh mirrors in the back yeah why does it have a child lock on it oh yeah he said he does not know how to get that off he said but you can google it or youtube it or whatever What? He didn't know how to get it off or he didn't know how to open it. He doesn't know how to get it off. I don't know why they would put it on just one drawer. That's kind of weird. And it came with this little, they gave this little stool. It's glittered. Ugh. And then there's the mirror. But this is just adhesive. Great. It means it's gonna hopefully it doesn't take to finish with it. Is what's going on? And this is Bondo, and this is uh, autom automotive Bondo, right? Yes. And we just picked this up at Home Depot. And this is what our mentors use for repairing veneer. So, therefore, that's what we're using. Unfortunately, Honey already knew how to use Bondo because he um, has used it on cars. And... When he started peeling up the veneer, it came all the way up to almost the top there. We didn't even realize this piece was damaged. Because um, this has been in our guest room. For... Do you have a frog in your pocket? What do you mean? I'm just kidding. You said we. We've, <laughs> we, we've had it in our guest room. Oh, that's true. That's, that's true. <laughs> I'm just not very observant. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. So this piece is going to get bondoed and I'm going to brush paint this and you guys are probably going to be real surprised what's going to happen with this piece. So then over here, I 
well, honey got this piece out for me. I've been dealing with a lot with the PPP loan and unemployment and all kind of stuff. Anyway, I got this all sanded down because it had tons of scratches in it. And then I shellacked the whole thing. I really shellacked those feet because this piece is going to be black and white and then the hutch is going to go on top of it and the hutch is going to be white and I'm going to distress back these right here and <laughs> I'm so excited then I'm going to brush paint some black up the side like it's like the black is kind of creeping up I'm so excited for this piece I will feel so accomplished that we got this done while I had six weeks off from work. If we did not get this piece done before I went back to work, I was going to feel massively defeated. So I am stoked. And look at the building. It's kind of looking like bad again. I want to paint this also um, coming up. And then that piece back there that I had so much trouble with. I'm considering painting that next week as well. But anyway, stoked. Tomorrow, these are the drawers that go in that. I shellac these. The top drawer is going to be white, the two. And then the middle one's going to be black, and the bottom one's going to be white. Mm, can't wait. Okay, today's white swan day. All these things got sprayed. And cut top snip. Touch top beast. I'm, I'm doing a video. The touch top beast is going white. I've been telling you guys how excited I am, so. <sighs> Can't wait. We got some smalls over there. Almost done. These drawers got to get done too. He's he's having a not so happy camper day. <laughs> Painting day is never a happy day for him. He hates it. Of course, he's going to save the front for last. Feeling giddy. 